welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It Ranking. It's episode 7. We just finished up our two weeks of Prey Moon Crash. So we're going to come here, as always, as scientists and scientifically figure out where it's going to go on our list. So let's recap our current list as it stands from bottom to top. Just before we do, that's sure. Boston. I'm Moon. Yes, thank you. We're, we're having technical problems, so I'm a little <laughs> bit out of my out of my element here. So uh, let's go over our list. Starting at the bottom, Sunless Sea, Riddled Corpses EX, The Swords of Ditto, Darkest Dungeon, Crypt of the Necrodancer, and still top of the pile, Hand of Fate. Yep. Hand of Fate is great. And it rhymes. Uh, so, as it says over here on the video, to be added, Prey Moon Crash. So let's start uh, other side. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll do our little. If you're watching a video, we're doing our little uh, uh, fusion, Dragon Ball fusion. Um, so we're gonna add Prey Moon Crash. Let's start at the bottom of the list. Is it better than Sunless Sea? Yes, I would agree. Uh, is it better than better than Riddled Corpses EX? Okay, so it's better than Sunless Sea because it moves quickly. Sure. I think it's better than... I think it, it's it got a lot more depth to it than Riddled Corpses. And I think it's always going to be the thing that kicks Riddled Corpses a bit further down the list is... It's like it a true arcade depth, game. But yeah, it's essentially yeah. it's an arcade game. So I, I think, yes, Premium Crash does go above Riddled Corpses. I would agree. Uh, is Premium Crash better than The Swords of Ditto? No. Interesting. I, I'm curious to hear your case because I would say yes, but I that's not a firm like this. The hell I'm dying on. Like it's, it's better. so I'm curious mm -hmm. why why well, you're voting no. We can we can agree right here. This thing doesn't go above Darkest Dungeon. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I think when so, you're talking about depth, I think the, I think that's when you look at Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say depth or death? Because Either. <laughs> <laughs> if you talk about insanity, Darkest Dungeon is top of the pile. I think Swords of Ditto goes above it because Swords of Ditto is a wholly original game in a very small studio. Mm. This is, and I hate to phrase it this way because I actually do love Premium Crash, this is repurposed assets put into a DLC pack. Sure. I think that's as an fair. original game, roguelike or otherwise swords of ditto goes above it just because it i mean we barely even scratched the surface of swords of ditto like we did a couple of <laughs> runs there's so much more there to see it's a surprisingly Whereas, big game yeah and i'm 30 hours into moon crash and it's like okay i know exactly what i need to do i could have ended it 10 hours ago right but i'm choosing not to because you know achievements <laughs> <laughs> right well and, and i think pre moon crash is a little bit tougher too because you have to have that um, that base level knowledge of Prey, 2017's uh -huh. Prey, to be able to be successful at Moon Crash, I feel. Um, and Moon Crash it does do a lot of lore tying in as well. So yeah. you kind of need to know a lot of the lore. That's true. Um, yeah, I would agree. I, would, I think Swords of Ditto... I think both of them are are good games. Of course, I think all of the mm -hmm. ones on the list are are great games. But um, I think Moon Crash. Uh, I I would agree with you. I think Swords of Ditto is probably a um, a deeper game. It's sort of deeper and wider than Prey Moon Crash is. Um, yeah. Now, I mean, obviously, the pros and cons wise, like I think Prey plays better than Swords of Ditto controls wise. Yeah. And gameplay wise, it's probably better, but. Yeah. As a package, as a whole, I think Swords takes it. Like, it's I, so I forgot to mention, I, that game. I still keep forgetting there's no aim down sights uh, in Prey, and I keep, as soon as I pull L2, it's like, nope, all right, I'm just I'm using the slowdown yep. time. Okay. And you accidentally summoned a mimic, or you accidentally yeah, it's summoned like, a well, mule. Right. Yeah. Okay, I would agree with that. I think that's a, I think that's a solid place for Prey Moon Crash. So, Prey Moon Crash yep. is our number five game coming uh, just after Swords of Ditto here. Uh, so Hand of Fate continues to be uh, top of the pops here, as it should be. Um, yep. And, uh, uh, fun fact, by the way, for anybody listening, um, Boston has the Trello list on the screen for everybody yep. who's watching the video version. 
we also have an internal spreadsheet that we use Mm -hmm. and while as soon as we start recording this episode i always put it where i think it should go and then (laughs) i use that as my reference point of this is what i think uh, because boston doesn't use that spreadsheet the same time as me because he's got the different one he uses right secrets yeah yes a little little peek behind the curtain here for for tvgp production uh all right well that's our list We've got uh, seven games here, and we'll uh, in probably another month we'll figure out where Cave Blazers will go. Uh, but until then, thank you so much, everyone, for listening and watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.